If the movie stinks, just don't go. I bet you're thinking to yourself, how in the hell can you fix this piece of trash? I mean, Tim Miller and all his brilliance killed John Connor, the savior of the human race, the damn linchpin of the whole series. There clearly is no good version of what this story can be. Well, obviously, when I heard the leaks, I thought the very same thing. I was pissed more than anything, but also I was baffled. But after the shock wore off, I had a second where I had a flash of what the good version of this film could be. Although, basically, it's just the first couple minutes in the rest of the movie is dramatically different. Also, I will be doing a broad strokes version for brevity's sake. So it starts the same and John Connor is killed by the Terminator and he walks away. Sarah Connor is cradling her dead son in her arms. I believe in the good version of this film after she buries John she goes after the Terminator. She tracks it down and plans to take it out with maximum prejudice until she has an epiphany. Think about how Cyberdyne created Skynet with the help of a damaged chip from the original Terminator. And using it they end up creating Skynet and you know how the rest goes. And also they create a time machine. A time machine that could be used to go back and save John. So she finds a Terminator and with the help of Enrique, the friend in Mexico who helped supply their weapons, the two take out the Terminator after a not so easy fight, but without damaging the head, probably by taking out its power supply. Afterwards they take it to the next in command at Cyberdyne. There had to be someone next in line after Bennett Dyson. So they find this person and convince him to build the revolutionary microprocessor that Bennett was supposed to. But instead of using it to create Skynet, they use it to create a time machine. Now this film needs a villain and there are many ways to go with this. Perhaps law enforcement since Sarah blew up Cyberdyne. Speaking of, the owners of Cyberdyne probably want her as well. But I think Bennett's protege would be the best candidate. Which leads into how this film ends. So they create the time machine and Sarah goes back in time to save John. By getting to him before he's killed by the Terminator and she succeeds. Now obviously she has to take out the Terminator to make sure that the microchip inside doesn't go to the wrong hands. She waits for it outside the bar but the Terminator doesn't show up. John and her attempt to hunt it down but they can't find it. But then they see in the newspaper a couple months later that Cyberdyne is merged with another tech company and has cracked the advanced microchip. The protege used the time machine to basically steal the Terminator and start the new Cyberdyne for himself. Now why would he do that? The protege's thinking is the mistake of Cyberdyne wasn't the fact that they created the advanced microchip in the first place. It was the fact that they hooked it up to everything and told to run it all. And this would be the premise of the next film. Sarah trying to stop the protege. Either Sarah's correct and you can't control advanced tech without it going awry, or the protege is correct and he's actually able to use Cyberdyne for good. And in turn Sarah would actually be the villain in this version of the film. But anyway this is what I think the good version of Terminator Dark Fate would be. But what do you think?